Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to handle the zoom and pan behavior of Sync Fusion React charts when working with many data points. You will learn how to work with different zooming options and modes, scroll the zoom area, and adjust the axis intervals in a zoom area. Let's start with the coding part. I will open my existing application, which already has the Sync Fusion React charts package installed. On the app.tsx page, I have included the basic chart rendering code. If you need to learn how to create a basic React chart, you can refer to my getting started video link in the card above or in the description below. With this chart code, you can visualize AAPL historical data in the high low open close series. Let's have a quick look at the output. Look at the chart now. The data is plotted as the high low open close series. The custom date values are displayed on the X axis. First, I will show you how to enable zooming in a Sync Fusion React chart. I can perform zooming in three ways by the selection, mouse wheel, and pinching. Let's see how to zoom the chart area through selection. I import the zoom module from the Sync Fusion React chart package and inject it into the chart services. In the chart component tag, I include the zoom settings property and set the enable selection zooming option to true. Check the chart. I can perform zooming through selection. Notice that the toolbar is shown in the chart with a few options. The first option indicates zooming is enabled in the chart. The next option is to zoom in and the other one is to zoom out. This option is used to pan the zoom area. And the final option is used to reset the zoom. I can also limit the toolbar options shown in the chart. To do that, I need to include the toolbar items property in the zoom settings and set its options to zoom in, zoom out, and reset in an array. See here, I perform zooming through selection. The zoomed chart area has only three specified toolbar options. Next, I will show you how to enable panning. In the zoom settings, I add the enable pan option and set its value to true. I will also add the pan option in the toolbar items. See now, after zooming in the chart area, I can perform panning. Next, I will show you how to apply the scroll bar in the zoomed area. I import the scroll bar module from Sync Fusion React Chart Package and inject it into the chart services. In the zoom settings, I add the enable scroll bar option and set its value to true. Look at the chart now. When I zoom the chart area, a scroll bar will appear and I can scroll to view the chart data. There is an option to calculate the axis intervals automatically on the zooming. To do that, I include the Enable Auto Interval on Zooming option in the primary x-axis property and set its value to true. Check the chart. When I zoom the chart area, the x-axis intervals are calculated automatically. Finally, I will show you the three types of zooming modes, x, y, and xy. x is used to zoom the chart horizontally, whereas y is used to zoom vertically. By now, you guys know the use of XY, as it is the default one used to zoom the horizontal and vertical axes. Here I include the mode property in the zoom settings and set its value to X. Let's look at the chart to see how it behaves now. Check now, the chart area is zoomed horizontally. Let's have a quick summary. You saw how to handle the zoom and pan behavior of Sync Fusion React charts how to work with different zooming options and modes, scroll the zoom area, and adjust the axis intervals in a zoom area. You can download a working example from the GitHub link in the description below. You can also see if you're eligible for our community license, which will provide you a free license key to use our products. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel.